crisis that started in 2007 and escalated to an alarming effect in 2008 and 2009 has caused great impacts to the Malaysian economic system. This is especially true in the manufacturing, electrical and electronic, and automotive related industries. Since the crisis began, over 10,000 workers have been retrenched. It plays a huge societal impact where large numbers of workers lose their jobs and more importantly, where do they turn to? And this brings us to the issues of employers and employees' rights and what are the governing laws and remedies available for the aggrieved parties. And today, we have Tuan Shai Shahir Shahid Mohamud, the President of Malaysian Trades Union Congress, MTUC, to help us understand more about the labor laws in Malaysia. Okay. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Okay. So, um, you first, are most first of all, um, you will do an introduction to the employment laws. Yes. And um, our first question is naturally, what are the laws that govern the Malaysian um, uh, employment issues? Yes. Uh, there are several laws uh, pertaining to employment in Malaysia. Of course, uh, we are not talking about uh, each and every one of them, and we are not going to detail on that. Uh, the major one governed uh, employees or workers who are earning less than 1,500 ringgit per month. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are other conditions to it. Uh, that is uh, Employment Act mm -hmm. of 1955. Mm -hmm. This has been formulated uh, more than uh, 50 over years ago during the uh, colonial period, pre, uh, not colonial, the pre Merdeka independent period at uh, the time, and uh, still been used. Although that a uh, lot of uh, complaint and uh, criticism towards this uh, provision of, of this act. So we have uh, the uh, Employment Act of 1955. We have Industrial Action Act of 1967. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Employees Provident Funds Act. We have Social Security Act of 1969. Mm -hmm. We have Workmen Compensation Act of 1952. Of course, we have also, um, although uh, in terms of coverage, it's not really uh, uh, wide enough, mm -hmm. that is the uh, minimum uh, which uh, Council Act of 1947, if I'm not mistaken, which has still been still been used, but as I mentioned earlier, is not uh, widely covered. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, several other other act mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, like the Trade Union Act, mm -hmm. and then of course the uh, okay, uh, of course this uh, Occupational Health and Safety Act, which is also very important yeah. of 19. Uh, 94. Mm -hmm. This is the most uh, recent one as far as the uh, uh, protection or coverage for employees, employees in terms of occupational uh, uh, and, and health uh, issue. Yeah. Uh, what about the judges? Um, how is the responses towards um, in the cases that they have, like uh, with regards to employees and re um, employees or the tribunal? What are their um, general responses towards this? Of late, I think a lot of people are seeking redress from the uh, department concerned. Mm -hmm. and, uh, people know their right. For instance, like uh, the employees who are not happy with the uh, termination mm -hmm. of contract, mm -hmm. uh, they refer the matter to uh, either to uh, industrial relations office mm -hmm. uh, under the uh, Ministry of Human Resources, mm -hmm. or they refer the matter to Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. Now they call it Jabatan uh, Tanaga Kerja mm -hmm. uh, under the Employment Act. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the number is increasing mm -hmm. in a way that uh, people know they are right. Mm -hmm. But we still need to uh, expose them. Mm -hmm. We must create awareness among, among uh, employees. And mm -hmm. sometimes uh, we'll be surprised that even uh, people uh, at the certain level of mm -hmm. employment. We thought they knew they are right some time. They even come here and ask, what shall I do now? I've been terminated by, by, by my employer. Mm -hmm. uh, unjustify, unjustify the unjustified uh, way of uh, termination. Uh, they say that uh, the employer is uh, not fair to me. Unfairly dismissed, mm -hmm. for instance. Uh, unfairly dismissed, uh, then they, they come here. 
what do I do? We say that, yes, uh, you have the right. You can uh, file a case under Section 20 of the Industrial Action Act mm -hmm. of 1967 to the nearest office of the Director General of Industrial Action, meaning that uh, they can file uh, their, their complaint mm -hmm. under Section 20 of wrongful dismissal, dismissal to the uh, Department of Industrial Action. So what I'm saying is this, uh, we assume that uh, the rate of literacy is quite high uh -huh. in this country, I mean, relatively uh -huh. in comparison with other, 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 so other countries in this region, for instance. But there are people who are still uh, sometimes uh, ignorant of their right. Right, right. Ignorant of them. So we are saying that we, we don't blame them, because mm -hmm. possibly that uh, they do not have access to that, yes. number one. Yes. Secondly, by right, the mainstream media, mm -hmm. uh, or even the, uh, for instance, the, uh, uh, the television station mm -hmm. owned by the state, owned by the government, should inform mm -hmm. workers, employees mm -hmm. in this country that if you are wrongly terminated mm -hmm. or unjustified. Uh, yeah. But way of uh, termination, yeah. then you can file a case under one, two, three, or whatever, you know. Yeah. So, which means that uh, they know they are right. Mm -hmm. Just like we have our campaign over this issue of uh, H1N1 mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, if some other campaign that we have. Because this involves the employment. Mm -hmm. This involves, when you talk about employment, it involves the livelihood mm -hmm. of him or her and the dependent. And the economic system That's right. of the country. So I think that that should be the. I would Something suggest that, that the mainstream media to. must highlight this. If you have the problem, then you refer this your case to the selection mm -hmm. office or whatever. You know. mm -hmm. If you have the problem, you can refer your matter to the uh, Department of Labor. Mm -hmm.